Hey guys, welcome back. So today, I thought I'd try something a little different. I picked up these two Craftsman chainsaws. They were listed 20 bucks each, or 30 for both. So, sprung for the 30. They are very similar models, so worst case, I'm hoping I can combine parts to make one good one. And if I'm really lucky, I'll have two working saws when this is done. Now, I don't know much about them, other than they look fairly complete. The person selling them said the black one he was using up until this spring, but it was giving him trouble. And the red one he bought used, but he never got it to run. Regardless, I'm hoping to get both of them to run. They did come with cases and extra chains. And of course we had a tropical storm recently and I got a lot of wood to cut. I do have a chainsaw, but these things are probably in demand right now and I wouldn't mind a backup just in case. So let me get you set up in a stand. We'll start with the basics. We'll check the fuel and go from there. Okay, we'll start with the black one since this one supposedly ran recently. I'm just gonna check the fuel tank. A lot of times the fuel filter either falls off the fuel line or breaks off the fuel line. And I see the filter and it's not, it's not attached to anything. So yeah, I'm not gonna run like that. The fuel filter, besides acting as a filter, is also a weight. And it always flops down into the bottom where the gas is. That'll keep your saw running. So without this, unless you have a full tank, it's not gonna run. And needless to say, without this, if it did run, it's gonna suck up anything that was in that tank, like sawdust, dirt, or bits of the fuel line that disintegrated. So carb has to be cleaned on this one, so let's get this thing opened up and see what we can find in that carb. It's not too bad in here, as far as dirt goes. So this is the on and off. This wire here is what grounds out the spark plug, and this is the choke lever. So the choke lever might need to be disconnected before I can get this off. Okay, get everything disconnected. This line here, 
I believe is the one that goes to the fuel filter, the one that needs to be replaced. Uh, this goes over to the primer bulb, and then this line is the return back into the tank. And a lot of people get this plumbing wrong, but the thing you wanna keep in mind is that the primer bulb sucks fuel through the carburetor, not pushes it. So the fuel inlet is right here, and then the primer bulb is hooked up, actually it's a purge bulb, is hooked up here, and it sucks the fuel through the carburetor and returns it to the tank. This side's easy to get to. This side, I'll actually have to pull the carb all the way off. So let me start and get this side off. Not terrible. Yeah, I was actually expecting to see a bunch of junk there and I don't, so that's good. Now, I'm gonna try to, I guess, get the carb completely off and clean it properly. Okay, I'm just trying to save that gasket. And it looks like I did. So, let's see what's going on inside. I'm gonna leave that side alone. That diaphragm looks to be okay. Now under there is the needle, which potentially needs to be adjusted, but if I take that off, the diaphragm, it's gonna rip. The broken fuel lines on the saw would have definitely caused a run issue. I don't know for sure that this carburetor needs to be rebuilt, so I'm just going to set it aside and take a look at the red saw. Okay, it actually looks pretty good in there. Fuel filter is connected. I see the fuel pickup line in the fuel return line, and it looks clean in the tank. So let me put some gas in there and see if we can get this thing to prime. Okay, I don't know if you can see that. But the fuel return is priming, well, pushing air through, but there is no fuel coming into the bulb. Now, the bulb doesn't seem broken, 
So it must be getting that air from somewhere, but it's not pulling it. Uh, maybe there's a, a broken line or a line that fell off under the cover. I guess that would be the best case scenario. So uh, let's get this cover off. Okay, so let's see what this primer bulb is doing. Seems to be working. So, why won't it prime? So this is the carburetor from the red chainsaw, which doesn't prime, at least on the red machine. So thought I'd plug it in real quick on this black one and try priming it over here. See if it's the carburetor or something to do with the plumbing on the red one. Okay, it's doing the same thing over here. It's just blowing bubbles and it's not priming. So that tells me that at least the primer bulb on the red one is not the problem. And we know it's something to do with the carb from that red chainsaw. And this machine, obviously the fuel lines are all messed up. They can be fixed, but I think the quickest thing to do to try to get something running tonight would be to take the carb that was originally on the black machine that primes and we'll throw it on the red machine that has the good fuel lines, throw it together, pull the cord, see if we get anything. Okay, good, it primed. So let me finish putting this card back on and try firing it up. All right, let's see what this thing does. Holy crap, it runs. A little fast, actually. Let's try it again.
nice. That's all I needed to hear. So, I'm sure the carb needs to be adjusted. I'm gonna wait till the morning to do that, but this is good. I think the red one's gonna come back. And the black one, we're gonna need to get a rebuild kit or just get a clone. All right, I wanna see if I can keep this thing going now. Right through this hole is the idle speed screw. So I'm gonna turn that in just a bit. And once it's running, I'm actually gonna turn it in even more, most likely. I want the chain moving, not too fast, but just moving. And then the slow speed or the idle jet is here on the left. I'm gonna dial that in, get it running nice. And once I got it, I will back the idle screw out to stop the blade from spinning and see if it'll stay running. Okay, not bad. I'm just looking at this kind of design right now and I'm not sure if the cover provides cooling. I see the fan down there spinning, but there's nothing directing the air across the fins. So I'm gonna go grab the cover and filter, put it on, and then I'll continue cutting. All right. And as far as cooling goes, you can see there's kind of a channel in here. So the air comes from the fan and kind of blows across the engine. Okay, let's try this again. The chain's pretty dull. I'm not gonna worry about that now. I'll just try to cut a few logs and make sure that the engine runs uh, the way that it should.
All right, so overall, not too bad. The carburetor probably needs a little bit more fine tuning. It is, a, am sure, a tired carburetor. The chain, on the other hand, is extremely dull. It seemed like it would start off okay and then it wouldn't finish cutting the log. So I think I'm gonna sharpen that chain and try again. Okay, not too bad for a $15 saw. It's amazing what a difference a sharp chain makes. So it made quick work of this uh, tree. And as you can probably tell, I've got my work cut out for me the next few days. So this thing's gonna see a lot of action. Now I did order a clone carb for that black saw. So it's gonna be the same thing to install the carb. It's actually pretty straightforward on this machine. I also have to rerun the fuel lines. Not a big deal. Anyway, I'm gonna conclude the video at this point. I hope this helps someone. Thanks for watching. Also got the black saw working.